motor driver PCB board used in this project is manufactured and sponsored by the Next PCB, which is specialized in PCB prototype and assembly manufacturing services for 18 years. The PCB board Gerber files are available on www.nextpcb.com. I will provide a link in the description. In my previous tutorials, I explained how to convert an old bicycle into a hybrid electric bike. In part 1 of the hybrid electric bike, I explained all the basics including the wheel hub selection, motor installation and basic testing. While in part 2, I explained how to make your own electric bike motor controller using MC33151 dual MOSFETs driver IC. 80NF70 high ampere MOSFETs, a potential meter and Arduino. I highly recommend first you should watch part 1 and part 2 of the hybrid electric bike and then you can resume from here. In today's episode which is part 3 of the hybrid electric bike, we are going to control the speed of electric bike automatically using the GY-521 MPU 6050, 6 degrees of freedom. 3-axis gyroscope and accelerometer module. The MPU6050 module can be fixed on the helmet or on the jacket and then depending on the angle, the speed can be increased or decreased automatically. Remember, in part 2 I used this variable resistor for controlling the speed. In part 3, this variable resistor is used to activate and deactivate the automatic speed control system. When the value is less than 100, the automatic speed control system is deactivated. When the value is greater than 100, then the automatic speed control system is activated and the MPU6050 module can be used to control the speed. In this episode, I will cover Number 1. Complete circuit diagram explanation Number 2. Arduino program explanation and finally number 3 testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the GY-521 MPU6050 6DOF 3-axis gyroscope and accelerometer module. The MPU6050 communicates with the Arduino through the I2C protocol. The MPU6050 always acts as a slave to the Arduino with the SDA and SCL pins connected to the I2C bus. This module needs 3 to 5 volts. This module can be used in a hand gesture controlled robot, wheelchair, earthquake detection system, self balancing robot, self balancing platform for a camera, Segway, driver's drowsiness detection system, etc. As you can see clearly, this module has a total of 8 pins which are clearly labeled. Out of these 8 pins, I'll be using only the VCC, Ground, SCL, SDA and INT. The MPU6050 module interfacing with Arduino and basic program is already explained. You can find link in the description. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic in PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. The circuit diagram is very simple. As you can see, VCC is connected with 3.3 volts. Ground is connected with the ground. SCL and SDA are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A5 and A4. While the INT pin of the MPU6050 module is connected with pin number 2 of the Arduino. The MPU6050 Eagle library can be downloaded from our website, check a link in the description. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Arduino, while the other two legs of the variable resistor are connected with the Arduino's 5V and ground. 
The MC33151 Eagle library can be downloaded from our website. First, let's start with the power supply. This power supply is based on the famous LM7812 voltage regulator. J1 is a female power jig and this is where we connect 12 volts from a battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. One kilo ohm resistor is connected in series with the 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of this voltage regulator is connected with the VCC pen of the MC33151 MOSFET driver. Pin number 2 and pin number 4 which are the logic input A and logic input B are connected together and connected with the Arduino pin number 3 which is the PWM pin of the Arduino. Pin number 5 and pin number 7 are used to control the MOSFETs. As you can see the drains are connected together and the sources of both the MOSFETs are also connected together. Over here we connect the motor while over here we connect the 12 volts. Before making the PCB I checked this circuit on a wearable board and performed all the tests. After I was satisfied with the results then I designed a PCB, generated the Gerber files and placed an online order on the Next PCB official website. The online order placement on Next PCB official website soldering and interfacing is already explained in part 2 of the hybrid electric bike. All the connections explained in part 2 remains the same. This time I only added the MPU6050 module. The VCC of the MPU6050 module is connected with the Arduino 3.3 volts. The ground is connected with the ground while the SDA and SCL pins of the MPU6050 module are connected with the Arduino's a4 and A5 pins as per the circuit diagram already explained. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download these libraries. These libraries are available on my website. You can find link in the description. The MPU 6050GY-521 module can be powered up using 3.325 volts. The INT pin is connected with the Arduino pin number 2. The SEL pin is connected with the analog pin A5 while the SDA pin is connected with the analog pin A4 of the Arduino. The logic input A and logic input B pins of the MOSFETs driver are connected with the Arduino pin number 3 which is the PWM pin. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Arduino. The variable flake of the type integer is used to activate and deactivate the automatic speed control system. In the write step function I activated the I2C bus and also activated the serial communication using the serial dot begin function. 38400 is the baud rate. PWMV is set as the output while the resistor is set as the input. In the while loop function we simply read the variable resistor and store the value and variable data. Then using these F conditions we check whether the value of the variable resistor is less than 100 or greater than 100. If the value is less than 100 then flake is equal to 0 and stop the electric bike motor. If the value is greater than 100, then flake is equal to 1, which means to activate the speed control system. These conditions are used to check the angle of the MPU 6050 and then accordingly control the speed of the electric bike motor. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos.
I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.